Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play The Adventures of Batman and Robin for Super Nintendo on hard mode. This time we are on No Green Peace. Poison Ivy is terrorizing the Gotham City Park. Let's do this. Now, we can't hit these women. All we can do is just stun them with the Batarang. And we also need to watch out for those little... Blue... Not blue, but red spiked balls that come out of the trees and co just come down on us. And I need to roll away so that way these women can't come after me. Guess what? These little red spiked balls really hurt. And apparently they're rolling down the, down the hill here. As for these roots, you want to hit the red bubbly part three times with the Batarang. Thankfully, when you have the timing down... This is really easy to do. If they're left on screen long enough, they will lash out at you. Don't let that happen. And you have three of them to deal with in all. And after the third one, you can just keep going right because there's nothing but the next section dead ahead. Now, there's a heart here. We will take it for health. Kind of hard to get through the first part without taking damage, that whole first section. And from here, we're going to have to deal with the female enemies with the spray guns. Dang it. And try to get from platform to platform. I did not want to touch you at all. That is not a thing I wanted to have happen. You want to face right, grapple upwards and then jump to the right to get over here. That was not exactly how I wanted to do it, but I'll take it. We want to stun her, get over to here, stun her, get over here, face right, grapple up, get to the platform, and there we go. Need to grapple to the right here, and this is where the fun begins. Once you get on this one, this one starts falling apart. Some of the trees will start coming down. You want to jump right off the edge of the little sloped areas. And that was a little quick, but I managed to pull that off. Yeah, just jump off the edge as soon as you're on the little branches that slope upwards. And for these vines, you want to keep jumping forward because they will sag under your weight and eventually cause you to land in the spikes. That thing I just picked up, if I had a certain thing equipped, such as, say, the smoke bombs or the spray, and I use it at any point and I had it equipped, I can refill them. Thankfully, I didn't have to. Now here, we want to jump and grapple to the right. There we go. We want to do that again. And there we go. This will break. This will also break. Let's drop down. Jump to the right. Jump to the right again. That just gets us past all the spikes. Had a lot less trouble this time around compared to the normal mode difficulty. I'm here, and from here we're going to be jumping from platforms to platform. We're going to be avoiding the women with the with the stun sprays. We, there will be earthquakes. We can roll past off these two women here, and from here we can get into the greenhouse finally. And from here. Want to be careful? If a trapdoor opens on you, be ready to jump to the right. I did not want you touching me. Ow. And she stops there because there is a trapdoor in front of her. And that'll give me a little bit of my life back. And from here, we get to meet Poison Ivy. Turns out Poison Ivy is making the park into a chaotic place that it is because the human world does not seem to care for the feelings of the plant world in her eyes. So she's taking her anger out on the human world. Not surprisingly, Batman has to go after her. After a brief conversation where Batman tries to reason with Poison Ivy, Poison Ivy ain't having it, we're gonna have to fight that thing that is completely covered in shadow. Prepare for an interesting boss battle with this one. Matter of fact, I kind of had to relearn this one. Now, we want to stay here. We want to duck down. 
And this thing will lash at us three times. When the mouse is open, we can hit it. After the first two hits, you be ready to duck down again. And on the third hit, be ready to get away. Because this thing will shoot two, two seeds, followed by a thwack. And you don't want to get hit at any point. I kind of had to relearn this boss battle a little bit. And micromanage where exactly I stand. So that way, when I move to the left, the seeds don't get me trouble, give me any trouble. And when the plant stops like that, be ready to duck over or under all of the crossbow bolts. Ow. Two. Be ready to duck under all the crossbow bolts. Good grief. That poison ivy shoots at you. And then when Poison Ivy gets back behind the boss, be ready to strike again. Be ready to stick and move. I moved a little too close to the left there. And there we go again. Poison Ivy can do this during the first phase, but if you did it as quickly as I did, it shouldn't be a problem at that point. And I can just go to the left from here. You want to hit the plant while its mouth is open, while the vine is moving away. Because during the second phase, the vine moves a lot more quickly than during the first phase. And it's always back and forth twice before the seeds start coming your way. And apparently I seem to have done enough hits to this thing. Nice. Had a harder time with the stage than I thought I would during the practice run. And we just go straight to foul play. Notice we're not getting patchwork between stages. If you're gonna beat this on hard, you gotta beat this all in one sitting. And we get a rare appearance from Robin in this game. He alerts Batman to a break-in in the Gotham Museum. And that it seems to be the work of a large gang. Batman asks Robin to meet up with him at the museum, as he will need his help. Robin goes ahead, and Alfred tells us to make sure we have everything we need before we go. And he tells us there may be some power outages. That is a really good clue for what we're gonna do right here. As soon as the equipment thing shows up, I'm gonna take the star and the plastic explosives. I don't really need the spray gun. I am going to need the flashlight for what we're gonna do. I guess I could use the um, other two, I guess. You could take anything you want from these two things. But I'm definitely going to need the flashlight. It will make things a lot easier. So let's go ahead and press start. And we will go to the third stage, Foul Play. Which we will take on in the next video. Join me next time where we go through the dark Gotham City Museum for the third stage in the game. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care. Stay safe, and thanks for watching!